What's good with y'all, man? You watch it, AGTV, and on this episode, we're reacting to Tommy Lee Sparta, my redemption song. Now, I feel happy about this one, y'all. Excited about this one. It's way too many of y'all to thank for this. Like, literally, all y'all really was spamming me with this. Literally. So, this song just better be fire. I don't want to hear shit about, you feel me? This song just better just be fucking fire at the end of the day, because y'all really spammed me to the point where. And it's been for a while, like, I didn't even notice that y'all asked for this so many times until somebody in the comments brought it to my attention how many people was asking for it. Then I went through and, like, really did my research. A lot of y'all really been asking for this, and I, I, I don't know where, I, where my mind was at, but I didn't realize how highly requested it was. But with all that being said, this just better be fire, bro. And other than that, I ain't really got too much to say. Let's just get into it. I'm just trying to make some music, I'm just trying to entertain, some said I'm young and crazy, some said that I'm insane, I face my struggles daily, and never once complain, we might share the same culture, but we are not the same, you don't even know my story, you don't even know me, stages. Damn, this like, damn, hold on. I wasn't expecting this. And he's speaking like, he's speaking clear English. This ain't mixed with no patois or nothing. He got his accent, of course, still, but I'm hearing every word very clearly. Besides, why the fuck is this little ass blurred square in the middle? What's the point? Who did that? Who does, whose idea was that? What is wrong with you? Why you got that little blurred square right there? You messing up my vision. But this song right here is deep, bro. It's deep. No, my story. Damn, this song so um like ho it's wholesome and genuine. The vibe is very wholesome and genuine. That's the best way I can describe it so far. Wholesome and genuine. I will never show them no fear, mama. Hope and pray for a better day. Some men don't know where me are, but me know where me been. And all me know me never going back there again. Show me who's it can feel some things have been changed. Mama gonna get a big house and rain. I always... As any as anybody who on to come up, especially young men, let's just say for any young men out there, you know, that's one of the main things you dream about when you get money is buying your mama something nice. That's all niggas really be want. Well, I ain't gonna speak for everybody, but for me, that'd be like the main thing I want to do is just buy my mama something crazy. Like, I just want to buy my mama a crazy ass gift, buy her, her dream car or give her 30,000 just because like that'd be the type of shit I'd be thinking about when I when I get some money I'd be wanting to do shit like that's some fly shit to me everybody want to put on designer and jewelry and shit I'm gonna do that shit I already know but that ain't like my peak that ain't what's gonna make me the happiest like that's not the the end all be all in my mind I'd be thinking about like getting my mama shit you feel me like that's what be making me feel like it's gonna be worth it to keep my faith even when it seems too late standing outside ever scared hoping to god they let me in i know i ain't perfect no one undeserved and he said he just hope he make it in the heaven's gates then the next line he came in he said i know i ain't perfect that's so crazy i know i ain't perfect no one undeserved this so tell me why you want me then he say no one on this earth is so don't be judging me Cause ain't nobody on earth perfect. Just because my mistakes may be a little bit more intense than yours, you done still made mistakes. And we done grew up in different circumstances. That's why in the beginning of the song, he said, people think you don't even know me. Like He said that in the beginning of the song. So I get I get the overall vibe of this song. I like it though, cause it's more like only God can judge me. It kind of sound like more of a, 
a therapy session between him and himself. He just basically talking his emotions out on the track. Man, we said my daddy dead and gone. I ain't even know where his father passed away. I ain't never heard nothing about his father, but I guess I mean, why would I hear? Why would I heard about that? But yeah, that's crazy. Even talking about his dad, you know, what I'm saying his dad not being here no more. This is a deep song. Stay strong, I walk the streets without no fear Sleepless nights and no one cares Sometimes I cry and no one hears Live my life out on the edge I watch my friends lay in the dirt And no one knows how much that hurts Put on my pants, my shoes, my shirts on them I watch my friends lay in the dirt And ain't no, don't no one know how much that hurt when you going through things like that, when it comes to somebody close to you passing away, or you going through something with your family in general, it could be anything. When you going through something deep, that's something only you can get through on your own. Can't nobody talk you through that. Can't nobody walk you through that. Can't nobody tell you how to feel at the time, because it's really gonna be between you and God on how you get through that. Because in certain moments and certain things that go on in life, only you can get yourself out of that. Well, I'm gonna say only you and God can get you out of that. And that's just one of the things you gotta live with, you know, that's just part of life. Man in the first man they nature, but they think they know me. Huh? They try to judge me. Huh? Don't know my story. Huh? Don't know a thing about me. Uncle Demon, them free never demon, them never see. Look how them try to fight against me. The demon thing is just a character. Like a movie, Uncle Demon. He said the demon, the demon thing is just a character. Now me, y'all know me. Whenever I be seeing him do all that extra stuff on the videos, I just be looking at it like, y'all know I don't be rocking with that shit. You know what I'm saying? I be, I, I'm a godly guy. You know, I, I'm in the God. So it's one of them things where I don't look at him like he a bad person or nothing for it. You know what I'm saying? I don't judge him on that level. It's just more like, as, even as the entertainment value of it, it's just like, I ain't into that shit. It don't make me want to cut off the video or nothing like that or not want to listen to the song. It just be like, that ain't my type of thing. Like, I'm not one of them people who... I'm not one of them people who just gonna... And I think I seen somebody say I'm scared of Tommy Lee or something like that because I always talk about how I don't really be messing with the demon stuff. But I'm just one of them people, I'm not going to just go with what the crowd go with. Like, y'all just going to praise anything an artist do. Like, I'm not one of them people. If an artist drops something and I'm not with it, they overly demonic or they just real dark. I'm not an overly demonic and dark person. So I'm not about to act like I fuck with some shit if I don't. Like, it's just not. Like, I'm going to tell the truth, you feel me? So people be taking it all type of ways when I be showing a little discomforts and dislikes towards something somebody may do. But that's just because I'm human and I don't sugarcoat what I feel. Like a lot of people probably do on YouTube. But I just know how I feel about certain shit. I'm not about to act like I'm, I'm with that type of shit if I'm not. You feel me? But I ain't never say he was a bad person or I never stop, I never stopped reacting to his music. You know what I'm saying? It was never nothing personal. It's just like, I just don't fuck with demonic shit. You know what I'm saying?
Yeah, he just let his soul cry out on that. That's all that was. Yeah, that was just a therapy session for him. Just speaking his truth, how he felt at the moment, he was just expressing his emotions at the time. That's exactly how I took it. Like he was writing in a diary almost. That's basically what the song was. Real deep, super um, thought provoking, make you question certain things and look at life a certain way at the time. Make you think about things in your own life. I like the song, it was a good song. You know, it's probably something I definitely see myself playing in my own time. You know what I mean? Just if I ever want to be in my feelings and want to hear something relatable, I might turn that on, you feel what I'm saying? But nonetheless, I like the song, man. Uh, that was Tommy Lee Sparta, my redemption song. And other than that, I ain't really got too much to say, man. Go ahead, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what I'm reacting to next. I'm out.